Tell me you're in a tank in the darkness. I think that would be good too. Do you know what I'm talking about? Ding dong, how are we? Look at that, the audio is working. Everything, everything looks like it's working. Nothing is broken to that. Beautiful. How are we? Got these uh, Blood Bowl boys. Yeah, so we're gonna at least, we're, we're not gonna get through all of them today. We're just gonna prep a lot of them if we can. Just put some paper clips in their legs and then hopefully give them a good spray. I think, yeah, I think that's a good plan for tonight. And then if we get time, maybe do the bases as well, but we can always come back and do that later. Just want to get these sort of cracking on just because they're tier one stuff. Good, spent the weekend playing uh, Played Up and building a herb garden. Oh my God, Played Up is so good. Have you finished a run yet? Like, are you that good yet? We'll have to play a game. Cause I'm pretty, we get close, but I am yet to unfortunately 15 day a restaurant yet. Oh, g'day, Emmy. <laughs> how are you? I tried to grow tomatoes, but my cats are weirdly obsessed with them and just kept eating them. So I gave up trying to grow them quickly. <laughs> Is it like toxic for cats? Cause I know that like Emily has like some plants in our house that like Lola could, could eat one day and it would be quite bad, right? I feel like you have one plant in the house that's like possibly a toxic plant. I remember. I remember when I was living with my parents, I went through this phase of like eating really healthy and like growing alfalfa seeds, the sprouts, <laughs> and eating them. But like that was there. That's like that's what they teach you in high school, right? That's like that's like baby plant stuff. That's not like that's just like you just put it in the sun and all. But uh, my next thing was gonna say, I even fucked that up somehow. <laughs> I remember one time it just got real moldy. It was too wet. I definitely overwatered. I have a problem with that. And I'll admit that. I just, I think they need too much water. And so I'll spray the shower at them and be like, oh, everything is waterlogged and dead and gross. It waters from the bottom and it absorbs what it needs. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're telling me, you're telling me a plant will just stop? So if I, if I water from the bottom with one of these self-watering plants, it'll just get to a point and be like, that's enough. Jackson, I'm full. Okay? Don't worry about me. That might be what I need, actually. I feel like it doesn't, does it work like that? I feel like they just suck it up and then they die. Emily's plants are like barren and they living, they thriving. And all she does, it's like she keeps them like, do you know what I mean? It's like Stockholm syndrome, like with, with plants, right? She like water them to like with an inch of their life. They'll be like, <gasps> please, <gasps> Emmy, give me some water. And then she give them like the littlest amount or she give them like a really good water and they'll come back to life. And they're like, just like, just on their deathbed and then we give them, I think that's the way to do it. Maybe not with vegetables, right? Why? Why can't vegetables be like, hey mate, I gotta make tomatoes, so I'ma need a little bit more this season, mate. Why can't they just just grow up, communicate, mate? I don't even know how it uh, lives in water. <laughs> I don't even know how it lives. I water it like twice a year. Is that the snake plant? The big, like the big Jared looking dude in the corner? Yeah, 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 yeah. Barely gets light either. You have a small dick. Well, that's not very nice. Aiden Maxwell. That's not very nice, is it? We're talking about plants here. Aiden. Dressing up Gary for Xmas. I love Gary. Me too. Like we use it at, I think, did we use it as our Christmas tree? I think we wanted to and it looked a bit ratty. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we wanted to. No, literally <laughs> slept through his tape glasses. <laughs> that sounded like you, but. <laughs> that sound like you. Was it Ty when we cut you guys come over last and you, <laughs> you were like, no, it was Aiden. Aiden was like, sometimes I get tired and move the mouse. I'm feeling a bit tired or whatever. <laughs> or if you like out working, just move that mouse, Ty. Emily, can we get one of these? Is, can, is, can this be the next purchase? Because I don't know, something, when I was young in high school, something come over me and I really wanted one of these. Could you imagine? Quick, quick trip in the little portable sauna, into the bar, Bob's your uncle, fresh and clean and de-stressed. Doesn't this look good? And she got both hands free. I could paint a mini, I could read a magazine. <laughs> Can I put this in the bath? Is that waterproof? <laughs> Shower and a sauna. I love it. I'll just, I'll just bring it up. Just maybe think of, you know, new Renaults, Aiden. 150 bucks. Oh, one left! One left in stock! Done. Why did it just add another $50? Oh, I was buying bearings. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Look at this little pump. <laughs> oh, that, that's what you sit on in it. I didn't even think of that. So you have this little capsule and they <laughs> give you this shitty little camping chair. Fuck yeah. That's cool, man. What is it just, just pump steam in there? Well, I'm scared of it cooked me, you know? It's kind of like you just turn yourself into like a little sous vide. 
you know? Chat, if you if you had to pick one, it's like either like sauna or sleep deprivation tank. No, 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 that's not the right word, is it? <laughs> What's it called? The one where you're in a tank in the darkness. I think that would be good too. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like lukewarm water, your eyes closed, and you're just in this black pod. What's that called? It's not sleep deprivation. That's that's what I have every day. It just doesn't sound... It sounds negative, doesn't it? That's some Final Destination stuff. Getting stuck in a portable sauna and cooked alive. That's what I think, right? It don't look... I want one. It doesn't look that safe. Like the, the little... Like the little deck chair. I didn't realize... I thought it might have had like a full... Uh, I don't know, like a full sitting situation, but it's just just a little camping chair. No, I still I still want it. I think <laughs> it's haunting. Sensory deprivation. Yes, yes, that's the one. Yes, 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 yes. All right, everyone. Your fingers are ashy. <laughs> it's God of War cosplay. What are you talking about? Looks sick. <laughs> it is 7:45 a.m. here. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck tomorrow. I'll be crying. I'll be upset. <laughs> no, 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 if you can make it, pop in for a little bit. Say good day, you know? <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Bye, talk to you. Bye, lovely. You have a small dick. Aiden Maxwell. That's not very nice, is it? We're talking about plants here. Aiden, chat, if you if you had to pick one, sauna or sleep deprivation tank. No, 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 that's not the right word, is it? <laughs> What's it called? The one where you're in a tank in the darkness. I think that would be good too. Do you know what I'm talking about? Ding dong, how are we? Look at that, the audio is working. Everything, everything looks like it's working. Nothing is broken to that. Beautiful. How are we? Got these uh, blood bowl boys. Yeah, so we're gonna at least, we're, we're not gonna get through all of them today. We're just gonna prep a lot of them if we can. Just put some paper clips in their legs and then hopefully give them a good spray. I think, yeah, I think that's a good plan for tonight. And then if we get time, maybe do the bases as well, but we can always come back and do that later. Just wanna get these sort of cracking on just cause they're tier one stuff. Good spent the weekend playing uh, Played Up and building a herb garden. Oh my God, Played Up is so good. Have you finished a run yet? Like, are you that good yet? We'll have to play a game. Cause I'm pretty, we get close, but I am yet to unfortunately 15 day a restaurant yet. Oh, g'day, Amy. How are you? I've tried to grow tomatoes, but my cats are weirdly obsessed with them and just kept eating them. So I gave up trying to grow them quickly. <laughs> Is it like toxic for cats? Cause I know that like Emily has like some plants in our house that like Lola could, could eat one day and it would be quite bad, right? I feel like you have one plant in the house that's like possibly a toxic plant. I remember. I remember when I was living with my parents, I went through this phase of like eating really healthy and like growing alfalfa seeds, the sprouts, <laughs> and eating them. But like that was there. That's like, that's what they teach you in high school, right? That's like, that's like baby plant stuff. That's not like, that's just like you just put it in the sun and walk. But uh, my next thing was gonna say, I even fucked that up somehow. <laughs> I remember one time it just got real moldy. It was too wet. I definitely overwatered. I have a problem with that. And I'll admit that. I just, I think they need too much water. And so I'll spray the shower of them and be like, oh, everything is waterlogged and dead and gross. It waters from the bottom and absorbs what it needs. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're telling me, you're telling me a plant will just stop? So if I, if I water from the bottom with one of these self-watering plants, it'll just get to a point and be like, that's enough. Jackson, I'm full. Okay? Don't worry about it. That might be what I need, actually. I feel like it doesn't, does it work like that? I feel like they just suck it up and then they die. Emily's plants are like barren and they living, they thriving. And all she does, it's like she keeps them like, do you know what I mean? It's like Stockholm syndrome, like with blue plants, right? She like water them to like with an inch of their life. They'll be like, <gasps> please, <gasps> Emmy, give me some water. And then she give them like the littlest amount or she give me like a really good water and they would come back to life. And they're like, just like, just on their deathbed. And then we give them, I think that's the way to do it. Maybe not with vegetables, right? Why? Why can't vegetables be like, hey mate, I gotta make tomatoes, so I'ma need a little bit more this season, mate. Why can't they just just grow up, communicate, mate? I don't even know how it uh, lives in water. <laughs> I don't even know how it lives. I water it like twice a year. Is that the snake plant? The big, like the big Jared looking dude in the corner? Yeah, 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 yeah. Barely gets light either. You have a small dick. Well, that's not very nice. Aiden Maxwell, that's not very nice, is it? 
We're talking about plants here. Aiden. Dressing up Gary for Xmas. I love Gary. Me too. Like we use it at, I think, did we use it as our Christmas tree? I think we wanted to and it looked a bit ratty. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we wanted to. No, literally slept through his tape glasses. <laughs> that sounded like you, but. <laughs> that sounded like you. Was it Ty when we you guys come over last? And you, <laughs> you were like, no, it was Aiden. Aiden was like, sometimes I get tired and move the mouse. I'm feeling a bit tired or whatever. <laughs> or if you like out working, just move that mouse tie. Emily, can we get one of these? Is can, is, can this be the next purchase? Because I don't know, something... When I was young in high school, something come over me and I really wanted one of these. Could you imagine? Quick, quick trip in the little portable sauna, into the bar, Bob's your uncle, fresh and clean and de-stressed. Doesn't this look good? And she got both hands free? I could paint a mini, I could read a magazine. <laughs> can I put this in the bar? Is that waterproof? <laughs> Shower in the sauna. I love it. I'll just, I'll just bring it up. Just maybe think of, you know, new Renaults, Aiden. 150 bucks. Oh, one left! One left in stock! Done. Why did it just add another $50? Oh, I was buying bearings. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Look at this little pump. <laughs> oh, that, that's what you sit on and I didn't even think of that. So you have this little capsule and <laughs> they give you this shitty little camping chair. Fuck yeah. That's cool, man. What is it just just pump steam in there? Well, I'm scared if it cooked me, you know? It's kind of like you just turn yourself into like a little sous vide, you know? Chat, if you if you had to pick one, it's like either like sauna or sleep deprivation tank. No, 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 that's not the right word, is it? <laughs> What's it called? The one where you're in a tank in the darkness. I think that would be good too. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like lukewarm water, your eyes closed, and you're just in this black pot. What's that called? It's not sleep deprivation. That's that's what I have every day. It just doesn't sound... It sounds negative, doesn't it? That's some Final Destination stuff. Getting stuck in a portable sauna and cooked alive. That's what I think, right? It doesn't look... I want one. It doesn't look that safe. Like the, the little... Like the little deck chair. I didn't realize... I thought it might have had like a full... Uh, I don't know, like a full sitting situation, but it's just just a little camping chair. No, I still I still want it. I think <laughs> it's haunting. Sensory deprivation. Yes, yes, that's the one. Yes, 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 yes. All right, everyone. Your fingers are ashy. <laughs> it's God of War cosplay. What are you talking about? Looks sick. <laughs> it is 7:45 a.m. here. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck tomorrow. I'll be crying. I'll be upset. <laughs> no, 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 if you can make it, pop in for a little bit. Say good day, you know? <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Bye, talk to you. Bye, lovely. <laughs>
<laughs> and eating them. But like that was there. That's like that's what they teach you in high school, right? That's like that's like baby plant stuff. That's not like that's just like you just put it in the sun and warm. But uh, my next thing was gonna say, I even fucked that up somehow. <laughs> I remember one time it just got real moldy. It was too wet. I definitely overwatered. I have a problem with that, and I'll admit that. I just I think they need too much water. And so I'll spray the shit out of them and be like, oh, everything is waterlogged and dead and gross. It waters from the bottom and absorbs what it needs. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're telling me, you're telling me a plant will just stop? So if I, if I water from the bottom with one of these self-watering plants, it'll just get to a point and be like, that's enough. Jackson, I'm full. Okay? Don't worry about me. That might be what I need, actually. I feel like it doesn't, does it work like that? I feel like they just suck it up and then they die. Emily's plants are like barren and they living, they thriving. And all she does, it's like she keeps them like, do you know what I mean? It's like Stockholm syndrome, like with blue plants, right? She like water them to like with an inch of their life. They'll be like, <gasps> please, <gasps> Emmy, give me some water. And then she give them like the littlest amount or she give them like a really good water and they will come back to life. And they're like, just like, just on their deathbed. And then we give them, I think that's the way to do it. Maybe not with vegetables, right? Why? Why can't vegetables be like, hey mate, I gotta make tomatoes, so I'ma need a little bit more this season, mate. Why can't they just, just grow up, communicate, mate? I don't even know how it uh, lives in water. <laughs> how, you know how it lives? I water it like twice a year. Is that the snake plant? The big, like, the big Jared looking dude in the corner? Yeah, 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 yeah. Barely gets light either. You have a small dick. Well, that's not very nice. Aiden Maxwell, that's not very nice, is it? We're talking about plants here. Aiden. Ding dong, hello? Yeah, sorry about that. I was just filling up my PayPal. It's terrible. It just seems to just evaporate every time I stream. I get it's hot here, man, but like the water just disappears, man. And I don't even, the lid's on. Yeah, so all my paint was all crusty and stuff. So I was like, ah, oh, I'll just get a new sheet. Yeah, sorry. How is everyone? Let me go back and read some of this stuff. Like missing out. Like, oh. Cause I want to know what Annie does for a living. Working for my city's administrator for school. Oh, cool. They want the chicken out of my enchilada. I think they got more. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm glad other people feed their dogs human food. I always, I always feel bad when I do it because people are like, you should just feed them dry food. They love it, Dubbo. They love it. <laughs> I want an enchilada too. I had a chimichanga jaffle the other day. You all know what they are? I didn't know it until I had it. Apparently it's just mints and like tomato sauce in like a little breville. I think chimichanga and enchilada is the same thing. Kind of? An enchilada is like a, like a wrap, isn't it? With oh, meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Hey! <laughs> oh shit! Hey! Making fried rice. Come in. Oh. I'll be closer. Back yeah, good. <laughs> now pick the dog up. No, don't. <laughs> I love it. I only work four days a week and the, the work isn't that stressful. It's often data. Yeah, but I can program a few things by myself. So I made a few animations to help me. That's awesome. Four days a week. Hey, glitch, huh? That's the dream. Yeah, exactly, Evan. That's the dream. We can post production for film as VFX artists. Yeah, Evan's crazy talented. Everyone's so talented, man. It's crazy. Very stressful to work in the film industry. Yeah. I got sound out of um, Optimi account and they just signed back in the other day. Hey, hey, by the way. Hello, brother. How are you? Someone bloody hack your Twitch account. That's just unlucky. Yeah, I love my four-day week, but I manage a school with around 200 students, starting with age 16. So it can be stressful too. And I think the hard part of that is like, like managing school children, how much shit I just feel like there was so much shit going on in high school. It's like very, you know what I mean? It's a very stressful time, a lot of hormones and shit, right? <laughs> yeah, particularly when you're 16. <sighs> no, please don't feed your pets, only dry food. That's not good for them. 
See, I feel the same way. When we went to the vets, Annie, they legit, they were like, I think they're sponsored by Royal Canaan. They're like, feed your dog Royal Canaan only. And it was this British lady. And Emily and I are like, we're not fucking, we're not buying that for fucking $150 a bag, man. We can't, I can't afford that. I love Lola, but I can't afford that. <laughs> I waved like an idiot. Did you see my wave? Hey, Emily. <laughs> That's so wholesome. Oh, do we not have your photo in frame anymore, Annie? Hold on, hold on. I put it higher. <laughs> but what my plan is, is to have like a little frame and like maybe mount it on the wall because it is green grass, but I think it'd be cool with like a couple bits of art as like a backdrop, huh? Kind of crazy thought. Beautiful. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not wearing any pants. I'm wearing boxes again. <laughs> Too much shell on string. God, this. Hang on, this. I'm, try I'm slowly catching up. Not 200 XT. 2000. God. Ew. 2016 year olds. Stress 2000 stressful 16 year olds. No, thank you. No, thanks. You can keep that, Annie. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I wanted to get Evan in to talk about the, the film she's worked on, but she kind of can't, right? I thought it'd be so cool to be like, look, look Evan did this. I don't know how to join this conversation. This is my awkward, cold, open height. Listen, yeah, but they were already talking before I got here, bro. Okay? I, it's not even... I just inserted myself. <laughs> How are you, yeah? No, I, I can make a background if you like. Oh, you don't have to. Up to you. I'd love to frame it. Yeah, I was searching around for frames today, and I was like, wouldn't it be cool if I cut it out, like, around her head and had a black background or something? Oh, you see the new emote, yeah? Annie did this one. Super cool. Super cool. Look at this. Look at this little fat girl. How do I actually... There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm good, good. In my new house. Still have to set up the painting area to rejoin the game. Yeah, nice, man. Congratulations. Whoa. Thank you for the like, Amy. Just have to spread out the, uh, the painting area to rejoin the game. That's the hard part, right? Because I think when you, I mean, if my if my area is any constellation, right? Is my camera on? Hang on? Like my my area was still pretty shit even when I was streaming like a year ago. Now I finally feel like it's where I want it to be with the shelf and stuff. Oh, did I show this the other day? I think so. Sorry. The the contrast pretty fucked at the moment. Oh. Uh... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so like, I'm I'm working on like this whole shelving area over here. So I'm so excited to like, I don't know, fiddle with it. Because everything is not quite in its place, but it's, it is, if that makes sense. Because like, none of these are organized, but I'm going to have like Citadel, and then I'm going to go like Contrast to Vallejo, and then I have Scale 75, and it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really cool. That's the, the video, the YouTube video we've been working on, Emily and I. It's been really good. I've got a few things to edit on it that I'm not super happy with, but you know, I totally get it, man. When you when you have a painting space and you just keep like adding and tinkering, that's the, the fun part. When you have to pack everything in a box and like move from the dining table, that shit sucks. I did that for a while. Hey, but hey, at least it's your new place. So then you can start kind of changing shit and doing shit as you please then, right? Oh, and look at this. You can see this back here. I got a little monitor stand so I can put my keyboard out of the way where I won't spill water on it. Genius. Genius. What a smart guy. <laughs> so yeah, things are going well. Little things like that, right? <laughs> oh, looking forward to that. Love setup videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tried to make it more like more funny than anything. I think I was talking to Evan the other day 
and it was like, man, you know, if Emily and I can just make a video funny rather than professional, you know? Yeah. What is it? Fried rice. Fried rice. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Mm. It's better than my other one, I think. Mean. It's that string. It's the Australian version. Hey, this the Aussie fried rice. It needs shrimps in it, though. Does it? Yeah. Look pretty good. Look at the color on that, huh? Just a little eating stream. How about that, guys? Everyone grab your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Um, Thank you. That's all right. Mm, yummy, yummy. All right. Let oh. me just set up this. Okay. Is that good? That's pretty good. I feel like the camera's more in frame today, but I don't mind that angle, to be honest. And it just means we can get like a closer shot, which is pretty cool. Like that's that's pretty close. That's, that looks pretty good. I don't think this is too annoying here. I think I think too hard about it. And I go, oh my god, I can't, I can't show the camera. That's my taboo. When really, I don't think you guys care. I think I care. <laughs> we have a room that is labeled as theater room on the plans, but I'll make it my gaming room over time. Dude, that's the fucking, that's a dream, bro. Dude, look at my stressful office setup. I would love to do a video on just how we've changed this library to actually fit my shit in. Because I, I turns out I might be a little bit of a hoarder, you know? I think most men are. We just keep stuff. Nephew will be over on Wednesday night during school term, so going to permanently set up the hero quest so we can just leave and, and join the game as time permits. Oh. Oh. That's kind of wholesome, brother. I love hero quest. Leaving and joining the Hero Quest game as time permits. That's quite sweet, isn't it? Very cool. Oh, I'm happy for you, bro. <laughs> oh, I remember many, many a school holidays just playing Hero Quest over and over. Playing by myself sometimes. That's how, that's how I think that game is. You can play it with by yourself as a dungeon master, but like, not really, if that makes sense. Having a gaming room is the best. Don't tell me you also have one, Annie. Jeez, what a flex, huh? Four day work week and a gaming room. Chill out, Annie. My first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we still use our lounge room as, as gaming room, right? Or board game room. Actually, I might just turn on autofocus for just while we airbrush, just say. So. And then we'll angle with that. Cool. I mean, we should probably put a mask on. Corp starch has made me so paranoid. <laughs> about dying from pain. Which is good, I think. You know? I think it's probably pretty good. See, yeah, I've got uh, M95 gear. Want to know a funny Germany style fact? Yes, please. Yes? <laughs> I didn't know those passion facts existed, right? You know what's really awesome about this setup now? Now that I have the more expensive compressor, it doesn't slap that the the microphones. Like I don't have to stop what I'm doing. Really fun, really good. Sorry, I'm being a bit rough today. This guy's so cute. I really want to do the eyeballs on him. 
don't know if you've ever got, seen a sea snail with little eyeballs. They have the cutest little fucking pupils, man. I'm usually I'm not rough with your commissions, I promise. <laughs> Anything of mine. Okay, I think about that. <clears throat> it could be considered wholesome or it could be considered getting some other person hooked on plastic crap. Look, honestly man, like why else why wouldn't you? You know? I swear, like that's what my dad did to me when I played Hero Quest for the first time. You know? It was like... <laughs> I think my dad bought it for his auntie, and I found it downstairs. And I was like, what's this cool ass shit? You know, well, that's, that's Hero Quest. You, you wouldn't happen to want a game, would you? There is an app to be the DM now. Fuck off. Really? <laughs> that's fucking... I would... I would do that. I might go play right now. <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't know that. God, what a time to be alive. Snail and Slug's a very similar one. One has a house and one not. Shell equals house. So Snail list Schnecki in German and Slug is not Schnecki. So just naked snail. That's pretty cool. Naked snail is a slug. See, when we were growing up, we always believed like slugs were like evil snails that didn't get a shell. I have a gaming ring, yes, because I need a room to display my anime figures and Lego and Warhammer figures. That's dope, Annie. You don't know how cool that is. But we're playing, we're not painting a naked snail today. <laughs> Thank God. Like, <laughs> paint a bloody big snail doodle. No thanks. Jealous guys, I have one shelf for my minis. I want a whole room. Hey, Evan, Evan, you'll play good there. Promise, promise. Imagine all the little D&D &D books and everything on the fucking shelf. And I think it's it's that the hoarding starts off slow, right? You probably still hoard. I mean, not, not that I'm not calling you out for having a hoard, but you know, <laughs> I think we still collect cool stuff, right? Even though we don't have the space for it. Emily all the time is like, you don't need more Warhammer models, do you? I'm like, mm, pretty, pretty cheap. <laughs> Anytime I find something on Facebook. We Germans are very direct when calling things like sloths uh, folkier, which translates to lazy animal. <laughs> so would like a cheetah be like run really fast or like, what do you call a cheetah? Or a leopard or I think it's a cheetah is the, the really quick one. <laughs> Whale called big slow fish.
Yeah, I think that's him all base coded. Dream is to one day have a gaming room specifically built for D D sessions. Oh my god, same. Have you seen um is it Joseph uh what's his name? The D D guy? Joseph Mangaleo or, or something like that. Um oh, what's his name? Man man something? Joseph Mandingo? That's not right. That's not the. Uh, that's not right at all. <laughs> What's his name? He was like the the werewolf in True Blood. Um, he has this like really based, um, really based D and D room, with like a throne for the DM and shit. I would love that. Mhm. Mm I think we all would. I have like 400 anime figures that need room. Oh my god, Annie, share pick me. I would love to do a video on everyone's setup. We won't rate them though, because that's mean. I hate when people do them. I used to feel so bad when my setup was like real crap, right? We've all been there. You know, you and you always want stuff that you see. There are people with like crazy amounts of money. Like, like this third monitor, I wanted the third monitor for so long. Um, but it was just a spare one I had laying around. There are people with like six, dude, you know, the, the ball just keeps moving. You can never quite hit everything you want, right? I can make pictures when I'm home from what? Yeah, yeah, no stretch. No stretch. That sounds crazy though. Okay. So for this guy, I'm thinking, um, instead of doing like uh like a white base coat like i usually do i want to keep this quite like contrast heavy so what i'm gonna do is that the, the aim is to kind of do it like half like a normal snail i'll try and show you some pictures so so you get what i'm referring to they have this beautiful like um it's almost like tortoise shell oh snail shell i'll show you a picture uh. Can you guys see that? Yeah, big up. Cool. So now it's like this cool, like, um, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the common gardens now. So we're going to like, we're going to do something like this, I reckon. If I can just get a nice picture. I like that. And then what we're going to do. Oh, sorry. I'm going to basically fade into the skull if I can. Um, how do I drop this photo? No. I probably got to save it, right? Just so I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> sure, it'd be nice, but since then I love my tooth. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look. Tools to do. No worries. No worries, yeah. Hard little follow to focus on. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to try and hit that. Like, I'm going to try and keep... See, and Apple Snow is kind of weird. They've kind of got, like, the darkness on the outside, which is kind of cool. And then we'll fade to bone just here, I think. Huh. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to dabble. I'm going to just play around with it. See what we get. Oh, my God. Let me spray my own eyeball. Okay, cool. Just making sure the tip was clean. And so I thought this would be cool. Um, we're gonna do it as like a gift for my like tattooist, because he did this mad tattoo of like a like a skull snail, and I had this print for ages. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold up. Yeah. So I kind of based on that, maybe I might do like a blue little slug, but yeah, I just thought it'd be cool to give him something. 
He has this cool shelf at the corner of his like tattoo station with a bunch of like trinkets and odds and ends and stuff. And I was like, I kind of want one there too. That'd be quite cool. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of reds because I'll probably mix brown and red in a couple too. Because <sighs> we almost want it to look like kind of terracotta on the top, hey? I think that'd be a really cool transition. Terracotta. Okay, cool. I think we've got enough to kind of make up some stuff, maybe. A silly tattoo, XT. It's okay, maybe I'm getting my fourth tattoo. Oh, cool! What are you getting for your tattoo? There's no such thing as silly tattoos, are there? Except for like... Oh no, I can definitely think of some really bad ones. <laughs> I think art's cool, man. Yeah. And just definitely get what you like. Right? I think uh, I used to be really stressed about what sort of tattoos I, I used to get. I love airbrushing, hey? So I can fade to about there. And then that's where we'll bring in like the skull. We'll do like a bleach bone at the front. I think it'd be cool. Kind of like it's it's like evolved to look like that. What tattoos do you already have? Yeah, right. Have you any tattoos, Evan? Let's go get some. This airbrush, this airbrush compressor is just fucking unreal. And like, just the best amount of PSI I don't have to fiddle. I really like the way that looks. Yeah, the Pikachu on my angle. Yes, that's right. I think I should I just go, yes, yes, yes. Would you get any more? 
I think now that I got one, I got a wizard recently on my um on my leg. I'd love more if I fill up my leg. That's quite cool, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. And then we'll do some nice, some nice kind of like ochre. Like that apple snail there. Like it just maybe like here. Mm. And then maybe like a red on top. Like terracotta. That'd be quite cool. One of my cat, the coordinates where my grandma's grandpa's ashes are. Oh, oh my god, and yeah, that's so sweet. Uh in the sea and two forest saved the ghosts from anime called Princess Monoke. That are a symbol for my grandparents. Bro, and he's so wholesome, huh? I got I got I've got a cat with a snail. Okay? <laughs> that's awesome. Hello there! Hello there! Chicken Queen! That is my best trick. This, this compressor is fucking the beast things, man. I think I was maybe running my compress uh, compressor too high of a PSI. And I think I was too ashamed to admit that. You know? Now I can dial it in. It's easy. There's no clock. It's beautiful. Very creative tattoos. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm trying to. I'm trying to convince Emily to get a tattoo. So bad. Um, what do I want to do now? So I might do... I've got this cool burnt flesh color. Let's go see what it looks like. This is like brown-esque. That's pretty cool. Oh, sorry, it's probably a bit bright for the camera. That's kind of more what I'm looking at. I know it's a bit hard because it's black, but... Cute. 
I said rich too. That's cool. And then we'll do like we might do like terracotta red on top. Yeah. That's cool. I <laughs> too much fried rice. Oops. <laughs> Thanks. I want uh, for my tattoos to have a deep meaning because I'm afraid of needles and it's always very hard to go for and get them. Uh, but I love them and they mean so much to me. Yeah, no, I have some really nice ones. Like this one on my like uh, my inner forearm I got for my pop. He's like a big gambling fan. Played Euchre a lot. And then like I got a tattoo of his knife across the um, the middle. When you play Euchre, uh, like the Jack um, is like the highest suit. So I thought it was quite a cool one. Um, yeah, I think it's cool to have tattoos that have meaning, but I think as I get older, it's like, oh, man, like I'm never gonna. Maybe, maybe if I thought long and hard about it all the time. But I also kind of want to support like the tattooist. You know? I think Kyle, who does like a majority of my tattoos, is really cool, and he likes doing art, right? So I'm like, oh, dude, I like art. Yeah, just tattoo whatever you want. I understand that's not for Eddie. spraying too well yeah it's quite pretty dude and then I reckon red and then fade to white you know Visualize it, visualize it. I think, yeah. I tried to cook those shrimp crackers, but I burnt them and I have the patience. No, you gotta get the oil really hot and then they become crackers, don't they? I thought anyway. If you're still hungry, then it's not enough. <laughs> Dude, Annie made me laugh, man. You must consume, Emily. Okay, so these are... I kind of like that red. But I want that... I'm sure there's a terracotta color. No? But you're making shit up. Surely, bro. Surely. No. No, just skin. Lots of different skin colors. What about an ochre? There's no ochre color? What the, where the fuck are all my colors? Oh. Golden yellow. I like that. It's like a flesh tone. Oh, I, that's what I used. I used like an ochre. Sorry, that's like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other name for it. I mean, I don't have the patience to cook anymore. Get <laughs> a tattoo of Lola. Oh, Emily, you should get a tattoo of Lola. I'd get that tattooed. <laughs> I 
I feel you. If I'm full, don't want to cook either. <laughs> I understand that. I relate to that. Love to make you laugh, but I'm very open and honest. <laughs> yeah, that's what we love, man. You just yourself, right? If that, that's what everyone should be, right? That's true, Red. That's true, Red. Um, I'm gonna mix it with bronze flesh and see what happens. Experimenting now. <laughs> kind of too, it's too light. A little cheeky fart, Emily. Got the meme stinker. Um, dark brown. Yeah, that's more of a terracotta. What else you cook for um for dinner? Em? With just fried rice? Thanks for doing that, by the way. I love the kind of blending you can do with the this PSI. That's kind of nice too. Colors, huh? Most people don't like it, but I prefer good over many friends. That snail looks so good already. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sir. <laughs> it's a cool little, um, cool little model. Yeah, because I just want some sort of like. Like kind of tone, and I'm gonna put. I might put a darker brown streak down the middle again, or maybe something crazy. Uh, let me think. Because let me. We'll try. We'll dry run it. Right, no need to stress. Oh, I just need a shitty paintbrush. We kind of got like a little peachy color. <laughs> That's the way to go. Quality people over quantity. 100%. 100%. And you can lie to yourself and just have. Yeah, that's really weird. So, sorry. <laughs> Something in my brain. So, I don't know if you've ever played a game called My Singing Monsters. 
Okay, there was a point where I was addicted to it on TikTok. This song is the Wub Box song for the Frozen My Singing Monster. Just saying. Just saying. Okay? I'm going to continue painting now. Go look it up if you don't believe me. Trust, bro. Trust. Peach is so hot. That's so cute. And then we're gonna give Bone a go, just see what it looks like. Oh, we need moss for the snail that like grows a little bit on the skull. Oh, that's so good. I like that angle too. My brain is thinking that it's in this weird environment where it's it's easy to pretend you're a, like a skull. Does that make sense? Like it's evolved to look like a skull. But I think moss is still a cool idea. Like, particularly, I'm going to do, like, a little gold tooth, like, hidden in there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, moss on, like, in the, like, the little orbital bones here would be really cool. And I was going to do, like, little glowy eyes, like, little bluey turquoisey. Oh, the button gets stuck. An environment where it sounds easy to camouflage the skull sounds apocalyptic that's what it kind of looks like to me right it's like this some um, dystopian universe where it's easy to just pretend you're a bunch of skulls sounds very dnd-esque huh like dungeon-esque I'm just gonna do the cheekiest little peach.
So the trigger keeps getting stuck down. It's kind of freaking me out. I just don't want to ruin it. Okay, cool. And then I think we might go back in with brown and then like level stuff out again. I thought about a crap and not a snail who searched for a new home and found a skull. Oh, I thought about a crab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and not a snail who searched for a new home and found a skull and used its home over time it grew because of radiation. I like that. Little radioactive Chanel. Yeah, we don't have a snowy Christmas, man. Yeah, it's very, um, very sad. <laughs> very hot Christmas. Lots of, um, what was I going to say? Lots of stuff to just cool us down over summer at Christmas time. Prawns. Prawns are a big. <laughs> Big Christmas thing in Australia, right? Oh my god, I would love to go to a medieval Sydney. Career. In Sydney? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> Where did you read about that? Yeah, I'm down. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I would love to do that. No, what's it mean? Let's see if I guess. What's the back of the shit? Huh? Oh, it looks so good. Winterfest Sydney. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely go to that. Yes. Oh, what the fuck is that? I don't know. That looks like a tumor. A spatchcock on a stick. I hate that. Anyone know what that is? Chicken. Oh, it's a chicken! Yeah, you're right! <laughs> Spatchcock on a stick! Oh my god, I would love to- Big cheesy chicken! I would love to dress up, by the way. Same. No, that'd be really cool. Yeah, let's go to it. Yeah. Ah! Oh my god, this airbrush is killing me today. It's not a prawn cracker, bro. It's a shrimp cracker. It's a different. Whoa, look. There's some shrimp cracker ASMR. <laughs> They're pretty good, though. Not too bad. I like them.
And then we might try the little bone at the front. See what you feel about that. I might even pull apart my error. It kind of pissed me off, the button. Can you check Discord? Got some spell card design options and more feedback. Yeah, of course, man. Of course. Give me two seconds. They look awesome, by the way. They're so good. If you haven't seen Evan's um, d d spell cards, they're so sick. And thank God. Because Jane are already so hard, man. Sorry, just find out my airbrush. Ah, uh, let me have a quick look. Oh yeah, cool. Are these new ones? No, this this is old one. So test prints of option A. Do you need spell cards? Option A, standard size, single sided. How cool are these guys? I love these. Did you design these too? They're such cool images. I love the somatic and like, uh, I can't remember the names of the other ones, but this makes it really easy to, to show whether it's a hand gesture or um, you need to speak it or you need a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. How cool. That's awesome. Sorry, am I, am I meant to be rating them or am I meant to be looking at them? Just taking it all, you know. Oh. Oh, hang on, Ev. So this is, this is, uh, this is option B. We're going to have the spell description on the back, correct? That's hard. You almost want to do both. Because for, for me, I already know what they do. Most of them. Um, but I think it is nice. You, it's quite nice set up here. But I think you were saying they were too small. The text was too small, right? Yeah, I'm drawing them in case I want to sell. Done. That's awesome, Ev. That's so cool. Wow. Text is awesome too. I think if you, I know it sounds painful to do both, but I think both are good. Like I don't think you, there's, you know, I think some people are going to prefer it all on one thing. I know for me, like I just need to quickly reference like how far away I can cast it or do you know what I mean? What save they have to make, you know? Hmm, that's tricky, huh? That's why option three is single but larger. Oh, <laughs> the best of both worlds, huh? Crazy. Okay. I like this too. Dude, tarot card's such a fun like shape and size though, right? I think tarot cards are very cool. And tarot cards just longer, aren't they? Playing card slides is quite cool too, isn't it? Oh, I love the back though, Ev. You should be really proud. This is so cool.
I almost want to say... I like... I like tarot card, kind of. Because then you have the option to do all of this, right? Hmm... That's tricky, you got some decisions to make, huh? Shame you can't just pick and plonk <laughs> to make them design them in each. Yeah, I like the tarot card sized one. Probably the best. But then again, would I I would probably play with these. Cause then also I think if I I'm just trying to think, like if you're a new player. And you have all these cantrips and you're like level five or something, let's say. Level five fucking wizard or sorcerer. And you got like your all of your cantrips and stuff. You kinda wanna like I love the Um Even if I reckon even if if you put a like a like a highlight over the ones that do damage as well. Um Do you know what I mean? Because then you quickly look through and, you, and then I go, Oh, chill touch. That looks like it hurts, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think as a new player, this is awesome. Like, because then you're like, uh, Booming blade? Shiny sword? Like, you... you, Because the game is already make-believe. So then you're like looking at a picture and you're like, That's what it looks like. I think it helps people with their imagination as well. Because chill touch, I think in my brain... I would never have like thought about chill touch like this but it gives it this cool because it is necrotic damage right it's like it's almost like it's like uh like rotting your flesh and then you imply that with the photo i think it's really cool i've never thought about it like that i just assume chill touch cold and then you add an image and then you know what i mean i know it does necrotic damage i just never fucking really thought about it like that it's almost like you're giving them frostbite in my head now yeah, funky. I love the big pictures though. That's a toss up, man. I think, I think, I take it back. I think this is the go. And then you have, you have your little key card that you're talking about, like little legend. Oh, cause like, what's this? What's this? What's this? Evan, what's this? Is this? Oh, so this is you saying that you need to maintain focus of the spell. Right? If you did another one for like, this spell does damage or, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think you'd make really efficient cards. Yeah, sorry, concentration, not focus, yeah. That's awesome. Because I love how succinct this is. It's like, I can do it with this, this, this. The actual items I could cast it with. The class. Have to maintain concentration. I know it's, it sounds like a given. Even if you had like a little skull or something or a slash icon. Because I think half the time people are like just confused on whether I can do damage with an ability or, you know. I love that. That's awesome. Arathu, how are ya? We're just um, we're just reading Evan's cool fucking D and D cards. So hot. We'll have to do like a little poll in the Discord once you um, once you're happy with what you'd like to. Ah, uh, dude, I think I'm leaning towards that. Yeah. I think tarot card shape is cool as fuck. But that is just so simple in like... Mm. Very approachable. Good stuff, Evan. Killing it, huh? Very well done. So cool. Is it weird to try and like think outside the box and be like, hmm... What do my friends... <laughs> what do my friends struggle with? Uh, goblin green, no. Kaki, kaki, kaki. Where the hell kaki color, man? 
Cocky, no, let's go back green again. Ah, oh, Cocky. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to visualize certain spots. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, like chill touch. I never would have thought about it like that for some reason. But then my brain is like, oh, that's cool. That must be like giving them frostbite and fucking... Because what's the actual description of chill touch? I don't think I've ever read it, really. I know it does damage. You create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of a creature within range. A ranged uh, spell attack. It's a creature to assail it with chill of the grave. That's so cool. Yeah, funky, huh? Didn't he so fun? Everyone here is so amazingly talented. I know, guys. Bloody hell. Thank you for sharing with me, too. Now, Evan, that kicks ass, man. Very, very cool. I love how we are so supportive of each other. It's nice, fam. And I think it's funny too, right? I think we get twisted like being supportive and being a yes man are two very different things, right? You can be one without the other. But don't. Just because you're supportive doesn't mean you support everything. I don't know. I think it just feels very genuine. So I'm very thankful, you know? And I've had people in my life who are like, oh, what? You just want me to. Just say everything you do is good. Like, no, no, but like, you know, acknowledging when something is good is quite nice, isn't it? It makes us, it makes you feel good, makes me feel good. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh God, bloody, bloody therapy. <laughs> bloody, bloody therapy stream. Get out of it. Just pay for me. <laughs> uh, I associate the chronic damage with greens and blacks. I did a blue ghosty version first, but a green version suited it more in my opinion. No, green looks fucking cool. Yeah. A hundred percent. And I think it's cool to add your own flair too, right? Because I think um, when I thought about it, I was like, oh, like must be like just a real cold hand, you know, from the other side. I don't know. I just didn't really know what to do. But the green makes me think of like, yeah rotting i don't know necrotic yeah 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 that's pretty cool i like it okay this looks a bit a bit bland but we're gonna add some highlights up top relax with it we're gonna get rid of this cock only 490 spells to go <laughs> Jesus, are there really that many? Thanks for the feedback. No, thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing, dude. Beautiful.
Yeah, it'd be quite fun to do like a little sepia wash over the top. Mm. Mm. That would be very cool. What's up, homies? Hey, Josh, how are you, brother? Nineteen ninety-two. How's things, man? You have a good week, weekend. What's today? Tuesday, isn't it? Tuesday. Crazy, man. Monday went so quick for me. I don't know about you guys. I mean, other than stream trouble, I fucking it just went so quick. Dude, how is this button stuck? I, I think I have to. It's still on. It's still on. Yeah, very good. I'm good, man. Busy week of work. Swiping away as we speak. What about you guys? Oh, sadness, sadness. They've been pretty chill, honestly. I think we're, what we've got a public holiday mm -hmm. next week. I think too, because the Anzac Day. Life's good, huh? Just had Easter. You're not some plain, brother. And just paint up a little gift for like my tattoos, so that'd be pretty cool to do. I hope he likes it, huh? Whoa. I spin it out. <laughs> Just trying to get like a cool little bait on that skull, huh? Because we're gonna blast it with pure light, uh, pure white. So I just want it to not look crazy, huh? That looks really good though. So it's still a, uh, dude i'm doing such contrast heavy stuff we gotta keep lowering the uh <laughs> lowering the aperture just so you can see it pretty cool though we just build that that little transition Ah, there we go. Put it down. Stop touching it. <laughs> that sounds cool as fuck. I still haven't pulled the trigger on my face tat yet. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it.
<laughs> you and your scared. Oof, his face said it's a big deal. What are you wanting? Needs to be work friendly though, but it is 2023 after all. Exactly. <laughs> no, we were joking last time. <laughs> Get it. Jesus is a bell end on your forehead. <laughs> you can meet an eagle at Winterfest. Get the fuck out, can you? Nuts, man. What's his name? Tell me his name, bro. Emily, what is the eagle's name? <laughs> Baldy. Uh, yeah, I think if you're too scared to get a tattoo, yeah. Like we were saying before, face that's probably where to go. Just, just, you know, get it over and done with, bro. Stop stressing about it. <laughs> Dude, that looks so fucking good. Sorry, part of my French. Mmm. Mmm, so beautiful, so gorgeous. Um, okay, I'm gonna do just some washes and little cracks there too. I think. Like a really dark brown. <laughs> Stephen S. Eagle. Oh my god. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> I would want to meet him. So bad, Emily. Birds kind of freak me out too, though. Like, not as much as cats, but... And bird beaks definitely hurt, right? <coughs> like, not as much as cat claws, but still, like, kind of painful. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what is this? What have I missed? Uh, is it strange that a girl I'm not dating? Oh my god. Where is this? Wants to get a tattoo that is a symbol of me? Is it weird that a girl that you're not dating wants to get a tattoo that is a symbol of me? That is such a... I love this stream. Such, such a complicated question there, dude. Thank you very much. Um, is it weird? Is it weird? What's the symbol? <laughs> is it weird? No, kind of like maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know.
That's weird. Now that's hot. <laughs> this is two two opposite sides of the coin. Does she want it because it's a symbol of you or could it have another meaning? It's a defo about me. Is it your ex-girlfriend, maybe? Because that definitely gives more context, right? <laughs> no, it's definitely about me. Mm, kind of weird. <laughs> she even asked me about it. Dude, she's hitting on you. Flirting, right? Right? That's kind of crazy flirting though, right? Depends on the symbol. Is it an eggplant? Oh my god. <laughs> it's, that is definitely about me, guys. <laughs> that little eggplant. Eggplant is my symbol, guys. She actually got to tell you about me. Weird. We don't even. I don't even know her, Aratu. <laughs> Jeez, what a complicated case, huh? Stream dilemma. I love it. She wants it on her ribs next to uh, next to her boob. How do it be next to a boob? I don't know. That's a hard one, isn't it? Why did she? What was? Can you? Well, I need more context, brother. <laughs> I'm not a scientist, but I think she's got the hots for you, brother. Yeah, I'm kind of with Josh. No, but okay. So turn on the 18 plus filter and I can explain. Uh, I think it's on, is it? Or... It's okay. You can explain, bro. It's okay. So it's okay. If it's crazy, I'll... Um... If, it's cra <laughs> if it's too crazy, I'll rant it back in. I kind of want to hear it now. Dude, Arathu, this is... Please. Your dating ex es escapades. Totally here for it. Anytime you want to share. Share on an online platform. Oh, thank God for choosing me. There's not stars there for me. Hey. There's not stars there for me. What do you mean? Can you see it? Oh, Annie could only see stars because she had, um, like, censored on or something. Oh, what? So when she said, why are there so many stars, I thought she meant, like, 
So many such stars. What are you talking about? Okay, 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 I'm ready. So my GF's, uh, GF has kind of low sex drive and I don't. I'm kind of dominating in bed. And this girl that has the hots, uh, not just a little for me, have kind of become my submissive outlet. Oh, snap. Why are there so many stars? Is it muting it in Twitch? I'm not sure. Oh my God. I can see it. Arathu, Arathu, we don't to support that. I mean, I mean, you can do whatever you want, really. God, that's so funny. Continue. Okay, Arathu dominating in bed. Current girlfriend, kind of low sex drive. Arrows who have sex with different person. Different person kind of catch feelings and get tattoo of Arrows who. Hmm. This is a very complex conundrum, huh? So there are two nicknames. One that is like uh, sexual, I call her slut. <laughs> so there are two nicknames. There's one I call her slut. <laughs> and one more affectionate one. Uh, and one more affectionate because you want to balance that out if you don't want to, if you want to let it get too. Oh, Aerith, this is gold. So the other one is called Cupcake. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, one nickname is I call her Slut. And then my nice nickname is I call her Cupcake. <laughs> that's so, that's kind of nice, actually. You know, like they are very opposite ends of the spectrum. Oh, so she's getting a cupcake, but the other nickname is hidden in the tattoo itself. What? The plot thickens! Dude. Arisu must have some crazy bed stamina or something. This lady willing to get a slut tattoo. What? Arisu, my man. What the hell? Continue. Oh my god. God, I was not ready for that. Made me cry. Found it. My smartphone had a built on it for bad words. All of his stories just like beep, beep, beep. Oh. So the symbol is a hella gassy fart under a blanket. Or am I way off? That's where, that's where my head was at. So the slut part of the tattoo. Or am I, am I, am I misreading that? Feel free to call me dumb, bro. Feel free to like, be like, no, no, you don't quite get it. Cause I think I get it. So she got a cupcake tattoo. And then, hang on. Cause you said, but the other nickname is hidden in the tattoo. So she's got the word slut written in the cupcake. Is, is that what's happening? I love this. Oh my God. I was really clear to the second sub girl that uh, it's just sex, no feelings. GF knows, but tattoo is kind of extreme. I would agree. I think if you, I think, yeah, no, I think if GF knows, I think I'm totally cool with you doing whatever then. Um, <laughs> I thought it was like, I thought you might be in this weird conundrum. Like it's not for me and I can understand people do it, but. Um, I think you might have been in this weird conundrum where like, you're like, you know, having relations with this other lady and your girlfriend doesn't know. If girlfriend knows, 
and this other lady is getting a tattoo of Cupcake Slut, I would say that's probably a bit too far. If you already have, like, ground rules set for your little play, you know, your little play time, you know? I think that is weird. What is the consensus in chat? What do you guys think? Yeah. That doesn't sound like no feelings from her side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I'm on board with that. Yeah, that definitely sounds like she that she loved the nickname you give her, and that's crazy, Aritu. That's crazy. I love you for sharing. Thank you. Can we clip this? <laughs> uh, it's a cupcake with slut written on it. Crazy. Maybe you need to talk to her and especially your GF. I don't think she would like this. Yeah, I think so too, Annie. I think if 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 girlfriend is already cool to let you muck around with another lady, um, I think it's just a bit far, isn't it? And it's not, I mean, you set a pretty clear boundary. So it's, I don't think it's on you. I think girl maybe needs to know that it's just not, that's just not it. But please don't get the tattoo. And she told you she was getting it? Hmm. I don't think my 30 seconds would ever convince my wife to get that tattoo. Well played, brother. Respect. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Oh, 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, fuck me, bro. She wants it uh, and asked me if it was okay. Yeah, I think... Uh, <sighs> mm. Arifu, I'm going to ask you a question. And this doesn't have to go back to your girlfriend, okay? I think it should, depending on the answer. But do you have feelings for Cupcake Slut? Or... How do you feel about it? Did you tell her she could get it? Or is that why we're talking about it? Too extreme for no feelings. Yeah, I agree. Playtime. It's not okay in my opinion. I think it's just this weird... Like, she wants to cross kind of a boundary thing, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. That's such a crazy story. I love it. <laughs> Tattoo too much. I think it's cool that like you have like a little nickname. Like I think that's totally fine. Um, because I mean, let's be real, guys. Like you like you, you're having sex with each other. You know, it's not it's not that complicated. You know. So you're having sex and you you're having fun. You haven't played time in that, and you know, you call her Cupcake Slut, which is hilarious, by the way, and kind of weirdly wholesome. I don't know. But I think, I think the tattoo is this permanent, it's like such a permanent thing. Like, if she got a tattoo, if you got a t shirt that said Cupcake Slut, that'd be kind of cool, you know? You think? Or am I off base there? I think, I, I think I'm on base there. At least she asked you first. I think so too, but I think that's part of the ploy, Emily. I think she asked him first because, like, she got feelings and was like, oh my god, I, you know, how else do you tell a dude you slapping around, you know, that you have feelings for him? I don't know. That's what it feels like to me. Alright, while we, while we deliberate, I might quickly Matt Varnish this out of the bat. Do you have feelings for Cupcake Slut, or is it just one-way feeling? I mean, I love the thing we got going, but I 10 out of 10 times uh, wouldn't leave my GF for her. Yeah, and I think that's what... I am I mean, I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know the situation. I think if I were to get a Cupcake Slut tattoo, and let's say one day Arasu just goes, ah, 
you know, my little cupcake's like, I don't want to do this anymore, you know? Um, is, is cupcake's like going to be okay with that? You know? But she's got this tattoo that says cupcake's like, so she, is she going to be okay with that now? Or, or is it more complex now that she has a permanent tattoo based on your playtime? I don't know. It's complicated, isn't it? Such a good question, dude. I boy that shell. Thank you so much. Yeah, it looks it come out really good. And I weirdly I was hating these at the start, but I kind of like the little stripey, almost like it's meant to be like a a shell that looks like a skull. And then we'll do like a nice turquoise uh, snail. I think. I think that'd be really cute. Even spiders, you can slowly cupcake on my forehead. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, she's not slapping me around. I'm very much slapping her around. I know. I know. I know. I was just trying to say sex without saying sex. Oh my god. Hello, my name is Arathu, and I play some of this. <laughs> Did you print or buy it? I printed this one. Yeah, and I was going to find the artist for the stream today, but I can't find it. So cool, huh? If you Google Skull Snail on, on Etsy, it'll this will come up, but it's like a Chinese seller who sells like large garden gnome versions of it. It's super weird, eh? Jacko does the best prints in the biz. That I fucking do, huh? Check out my website, okay? We gotta add some shit on it. It's been a while, okay? So just message me on Facebook if you want something. Or if you want dating advice, like we're giving right now, message me too. You know? I'm I'm happy to help. I love that I love that we're doing it on a public forum. That's my favorite part. What's wrong? So yeah, in short, my life is kind of strange at the moment. Uh, so... Did we say that you said it was cool to get? Or you... Well, you were kind of up in the air about it. I don't know if we covered that. So cool. It's quite fun, huh? Do you print slutty cupcake minis? <laughs> because it sounds like there's a market for that. Yes, apparently so. 
But all serious, uh, what's linked to your site? So if you type in, if you type in, we got a little minis in Google. I should come up. I believe. Oh my God, why are we getting, why are we getting watermarked music? So we got big, drag up, little minis. Whoa. Whoa, look at this dude. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Whose website is this? Crazy. What's this? What's this? A child photo of me? Whoa. What a beautiful website. Yeah, so just big jacko little minis.com. Can't believe it wasn't taken. Oh. Sorry, browser music is quite loud. We should remove that, Emily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're, we're currently working on some commission painting tiers uh, for commission painting this year. So I work with this um, cool bloke I know, Fletcher. Um, and we work together on some... We're, I think we're doing five tiers now. So there's going to be like a cheaper version for people who just want paint on minis. Discord. Yeah, no, I don't know why that doesn't work. We need to get someone in to have a look at the fucking Discord bot. It just, for some reason, just ignores everything. But yeah, this is all resin stuff too. Um, no, I love my resin printing. But yeah, bigjackalumines.com. Best website in the biz. 100%. <laughs> Sadly, your Australia shipping is so much. I found it was crazy getting stuff to the UK. Like, absolutely fucked. So, but I mean, if, we, if you want to mess with me, we could probably, we could probably work something out. And we've also got to change um, a lot of the prices for stuff just because I can get resin cheaper now. We made this, I think, two years ago when I first started painting. So we need to update a lot about it. But no, I love the way it's set up. It's just actual utility. Not amazing at the moment. And I think Emily and I were too scared to um, kind of work out shipping on our own. Because with Shopify, you need to either pay them and they'll work out the shipping for you on a purchase, or you just put a flat rate, right? And we just didn't have the, the money at the time. We probably do now. So you're right. We are lazy. We should work that out. But, um, yeah, Shopify, um, yeah, they kind of, they trickle money out of you. And you, I think it's very surprising. You don't notice it straight away. But no, we'll take that feedback, Annie. And we'll see if we can make it cheaper or just put a more accurate shipping. Because it shouldn't be that much to most places. The UK is the one that always just absolutely just ruins us there. Because you've got to apply for customs now, I think. Bloody kangaroo post is the worst. <laughs> I definitely think she got more than no feelings. Arathu, you think? Arathu, she got a tattoo with with the slutty little nickname, bro. I look, I looked over there like there's somebody else to get feedback from. <laughs> definitely, definitely has a few feelings, if not a couple. If I was still printing to sell, I would argue. Argue about what? What were we arguing about? She already got 11 other tattoos. Most of them is tied to strong memories. Oh. 
and parts of her life, both good and bad. Uh, it almost makes it kind of understandable, weirdly. I suppose I can see her logic in wanting a tattoo because she might be just really enjoying your time together, which is weird sentence to say, isn't it? have customs everywhere i think i often import from japan and the fees are killing me dude the freight from japan and like even around australia is kind of gross at the moment i bought some fittings for my airbrush and it cost me 40 fucking dollars in in freight in my own country 40 fucking dollars in freight from sydney but fucking things are this big yeah i know i know i hear you i complain about postage too <laughs> But I think um I think there's definitely like margins in there where like postage doesn't have to be that high. I think we were just scared originally um, when we were selling like a few things and you'd lose money based on postage. So we just got really scared of that. Now business is good. Business booming. Plenty of money. We could probably, I mean, not that we're in the business to lose money. But we could probably take a bit of a cut on the, uh, the postage. That tax always screwed me when shipping to the UK. Are the best printer in the biz. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One of the second most uh, efficient printers in the biz. Evan first, of course. In the end, it's her body, her choice, but emphasize that it doesn't change your relationship and your feelings towards her. Yeah, I think so. Like, I think it's like, it's just... It's so, it's so complicated, you know? Do you think your girl, I think your girlfriend would go, I was going to, I was going to say, do you think your girlfriend and you could talk about it? But I don't think that's a good idea. Mm. And I'm not that I'm in the interest of like keeping things from your significant other. I think that could just go very badly because of the, the stipulation and the context, right? God, it's so confusing and interesting. <laughs> I love it. Crazy. I don't know. And if you say no to the tattoo, do you think she would get cranky? Like the side, the side chick, like um, the cupcake slap. Like, do you think she would get upset? Or is it like she's like, oh yeah, that's probably overstepping. So when we do merch, guys, can we have Cupcake Slut as a t-shirt? I'll give you a cut, Arafu. <laughs> That's definitely already a t-shirt, by the way.
I just want to say fuck Greg. Oh my god, you read there about it? Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm about, man. Fuck the Gregs of this hobby. There's so many gatekeepy assholes, you know? When deep down, it's like a hobby based on art, right? Yeah? Fuck Greg. And you know what? Fuck my real estate agent, Greg Chamberlain, previous ex real estate agent. Fuck you, man. Just while we're on, on topic. I've seen her really enjoy our time together for sure. Oh my God, Arathu, you horny devil. Please stop. <laughs> I never met a nice name named Greg. Me neither. Unless one of you guys is named Greg. Love you all. Annie, what's your husband's name? Better not be Greg. Oh, you're thinking I kind of like the fade. That ogre is fantastic compared to my first attempts. I oh, thank you, man. <laughs> Pretty crazy, Vinny, that one. I love it. I have it on my desk. Oh, no, I have it on display up there now. I used to have it on my desk. Yeah, this, um, yeah. I love this ogre. Very like, you know, that you can tell I liked colors as a kid, you know? Orange shirt. I used to dress like that, I think, too. Denim jeans, orange shirt, purple mohawk. At least I thought about, like, I think I was... I think I knew that purple and orange were a complementary color. But, um... Yeah, green ogre skin kind of doesn't really do anything for it, either. <laughs> hey, hey, you gotta... Respect where we come from, huh? I would never in my life get a tat of a living person, no matter how much I love them. People tend to fuck up at some point. Oh, Annie, that's sad. If I were to text her, come to my office right now, and a, a deep peek, she would leave a longer snail trail than that model. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Arithi. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. God. God, Arathu fucking how he is a motherfucker. You need to get off this chat and buddy relieve yourself, brother. <laughs> Jesus. The imagery. God. I'm cool with it though. Buddy. Yes, it's wild. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> God, that's so funny. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. I've just prayed my cupcake slot. <laughs> Fuck. Well, turns out, bloody Josh is making the t-shirts. Hit up Josh for the t-shirt. That looks pretty cool. My brain's my brain's getting weird about it. I need to like step away from it. But I'll look at it tomorrow and I'll be like, that looks awesome. That I like, that looks okay. Are you gifting me a sub? Oh, that's quite nice of you, Emily. Almost a month ago. <laughs> 
We went crazy on this sub train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. I'll see if I can find out Ogre's later and post it. Ah, please do. Because they're the hero quest ones. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I did. Such wholesome content this stream. <laughs> Arathu is just bringing the wholesome. <laughs> My fiance is called Mike. Uh, but like, I don't want to get a tad of living person. He's okay with that. Because he saw me go through very dark times. With very toxic people. And even after nine years of our relationship, he's okay with that. Oh, that's beautiful though. But Arthur, cupcake slot. <laughs> to be fair, I did ask for permission to tell beforehand. No, 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 no. Don't feel. I don't want you to feel bad in the slightest. I think it's hilarious. Um, it's just it's crazy, you know. <laughs> the snail trail joke. <laughs> Come out of left field, man. I can't believe that you related the joke that was both sexual and related to the mini ice painting. Crazy. Project, you have to have to leave chat or leave yourself. Just open a new tab. Yeah, why are you opening a new tab? You can just do it right here, baby. What the hell are you trying to say? <laughs> you have just outed himself. Ah. <laughs> uh. Selling yourself short. <laughs> Who is Josh? Uh, oh, don't open a tab. Hey, I made that joke. Also, me relieving myself is what got me into this mess. What does that mean? <laughs> Are you talking about with the lady? Right, 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 right. It looks awesome. I oh, thank you. It's so freaking good. It looks incredible. Thank you. It's a pretty awesome, not naked slug. True, true, true. I love cupcake slut, even though I can never eat a cupcake again without thinking of it. <laughs> Jesus. That's so funny. I don't know. I think the more I'm thinking about it. Okay. I know we're still on the topic, but I think it's interesting. I think the more I think about it, when you said there was like a moment where you said, um, she gets tattoos of like her important life events in a way. I know this sounds crazy, but I think in a way it's kind of sweet. I don't know. But again, still think it's quite full on and that's okay. You know? I will tell my man this story and he will love it. Dude, I'm going to clip the shit out of it, Arathu. I hope you know that. I hope that's cool. <laughs> so wild. And it's this... It's like... It's not like you're, like you're not really doing anything wrong. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I think... um, Kind of wholesome, but I think she... Maybe she just needs to think about how it might make your girlfriend feel too. Hmm. Hmm. Works very boring today. Have you had to do anything exciting? Any? What is exciting in your job? Is there a part that you look forward to? I used to work at um, a petrol station, right? And I used to look forward to pumping diesel. I don't know why. It used to smell really good. I know that sounds bad, but... And people would be like, God, I hate pumping diesel. It gets on your clothes. I kind of like that. If anyone else needs advice, we're here for you. We need another slide where if someone has like a predicament or a problem, we can like go to that scene. And this would be like the this would be like the council couch or something. Where we talk about issues. Because Arathy, that was so entertaining. 
and kind of wholesome at the same time. Like, you're just genuinely asking. Because you like your girlfriend, right? Crazy. Crazy story, though. <laughs> uh. Any exciting today? Sadly, no. Oh. Unfortunate. I mean, it's also her labeling herself into uh, her role of what we got going. It's not like she's getting my name in a heart. I suppose that's true, but I think the way we were looking at it is like, you know, I guess it's because it's a nickname. Kind of wholesome, kind of sweet. So I see kind of both sides of it, weirdly. But it's okay, like, I'm more happy with not so much work uh, than with a stressful time, so I can't complain. Yeah, that's true, too. Because there's no in-between, right? There's no, like, um, there's no, like, a little bit of work, right, at work. I always find it's either, it's, like, everything is hectic and gangbusters, or there's no work to be done. careful with this pink stuff because it will stick to my silicon mat real bad i'm still working we're still distracted by that snail trail comment oh my god me too <laughs> oh. why is it pink oh it's like a masking so sorry i forgot to explain it's a it's silly putty and I use it like a masking agent so I can paint around. So now that I've painted the skull, I don't want to get any blue on it. So I just wrap it up with silly putty. Also, I can watch your stream. So that's a plus point two at work. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> and I can actively watch and comment. And if not, I would have lost this wonderful story today. I agree. <laughs> All right, so if you've got any more updates through the week, let us know. You okay, Emily? Oh, my little cupcake slap, buddy. Poor bugger. Ow! <laughs> I just kicked my toe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that scream. Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was the wildest story I've heard in a long time. So good, too. But no, I'd love an update. I'd love to like see like because after our conversation today, what's your where are you taking this now? Is she gonna get the tattoo? You're gonna say, oh, I talked to I talked to my mates, and we think it's probably a bit far. Or or do you just get it and hide it from your girlfriend? Which one? Which one is the most appropriate, right? Tricky, if you ask me.
I like this kind of candy turquoisey color. Probably a bit darker than what it looks like now. There we go. It's probably a bit more accurate. I said I wouldn't play the sound. What's wrong with you? Why are you blue? <laughs> but I can't buy bits on my phone because I forbid it because of safety. Wait, what? What? I talked to these creeps on Twitch and they think it's hot, so go for it. Exactly, Josh. And need a work in progress pick in Discord. <laughs> yeah, but creeps are creepy. I'm gonna tell her that if she gets it, she gets it for herself, and I have not. Uh, and I have not and will not change the nature of relationship being just sex for me. I think that's a very, yeah, I think it's a very reasonable way to look at it. Dude, Arisu, Arisu's smart man. And he got big dick energy as well. Go you, bro. Love the turquoise. Me too. So fun. <laughs> so anyone else got something interesting going on in their life? Oh my God. Not as interesting as you, my friend. Not, I don't think anyone can top that, right? Dude, I love that little front on profile with the little blue stalks. So cute. So cute. So for underneath, I'm thinking almost, I want to try purple. I know that sounds crazy, but I'll give it a go anyway. <laughs> Emily, did you say earlier you were coming to Sydney for something? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we were talking about that, um, that medieval festival. You should come, Evan, if we go. You live in Sydney, don't you? Anyone else who lives in Sydney, come, bro. Come hang out at fucking medieval festival, man. That would be awesome. I would want to dress up so bad. Big Renaissance fair stuff. Yes, dude. Oh, uh, all right. What do I want to do with this? I do want to try purple. Hey, let's give it a go. <sighs> it's gonna be crazy, but just to see what it looks like. Actually, I'm gonna go gray into purple.
if I can find purple. Hmm. A hex lichen. There we go. Yeah, guy, I think that would make a wonderful birthday present. It would be really cool, huh? Something we haven't done before, Emily. So what happens at Winterfest, Em? What happens at Winterfest? Uh, meet an eagle. Yeah, meet an eagle. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, there's, like, um, medieval food tasting. Okay. Uh, people dress up. And this, did I mention the eagle? And there's an eagle. There's an eagle that you can meet. <laughs> there's jousting. Oh! Um, like a pedestrian, people dressed up riding horses. There's carriages. Um, there's also like medieval medicine workshops. It just looks hella fun. You can. What do you think of that? That's great. Purple yeah, and turquoise? Yeah, I love the purple. Purple, yeah, belly? Sorry, yeah. I was thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was thinking about it. You <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like fun. I don't know, I hope it's good. I hope it's not a fit, but anyway, it would be fun anyway. <laughs> would you like some mac and cheese, my dame? Yes. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine if it was this shit? <laughs> I'm Would you like some of this fowl? <laughs> that's chicken, that's chicken, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crispy skin fowl. From the colonel himself. I probably eat that. I don't know if I have beer. I don't have beer. I'm going to and the Renaissance Festival. Wait, why can't there be an Oktoberfest and Yeah, dude. Maybe we do that. Maybe we do that as a collective, yeah. guys. Dude, purple, turquoise, so sex. So Arathu right now. God, thanks for sharing that story. That was a fucking absolute banger. I can't look at snails the same anymore now. Yeah, snail trail. <laughs> I see. I used to thought. I used to think snail trail was when uh, you had like just belly button there. Eh? It is. Now I just think it's yeah. Juices. <laughs> snail juices. Now I just think of cupcakes like. It reminds me of this moment some weeks ago when I was hanging out in a D and D stream and they started to roast me for getting around so much. <laughs> Here is a clip. <laughs> I've not been before, but it looks interesting. Here we go. I'll plot that clip in a sec. Hang on. Let me clean this over. Up. No, I think it's cool, man. I'm a big supporter of do whatever you like. Really. Um, so funny. And like, I made a mind, like, you know, we, um, we had him down in our place and then like, you know, we hung out for such a long time. And, um, you know, he, <laughs> what was I going to say? Sorry, I'm just waiting for the clip. Oh my God, did you kick your toe again? You all right? I'm what? Basket. We'll move it. Twice in the past 10 days. Jesus. Oh. What was I saying? I forget now. Sorry. That's all right. Sorry. <laughs> I have no spatial awareness. Oh, my toes. I made a mind come down, lost his virginity, right? Um, at a, a special lady's place, a bordello, if you will, if you know what they are, you know? And I think it's cool. I think, um, everyone's entitled to, you know, their own sexuality and doing whatever. Big supporter of that sort of stuff. And particularly when I, you know, I work in the disability field, I think it's cool. Um, cupcake slot, definitely not a story of. <laughs> ever been able to relate to before though but not do you man i'm not gonna judge you for sleeping around i can't wait to see this clip though hold up we've established this this yeah that's what mizzy mizzy that's what arafu does arafu gets around we've established this this is full canon yep oh my <laughs> um what were, fans in several streamers. I mean streams. <laughs> what, what were you talking about? What were you talking about? Oh. <laughs> were you in chat? Mm. <laughs> oh my god. That's gonna linger. 
<laughs> this is the way. Jesus. Jesus. I thought like these guys too, because Meg's coming. I think Meg's played uh, with Jim Slade before too. Hey. <laughs> um. But yeah. Fuck, fucking Eric, dude. Dirty little man. Dirty little boy. Nah, it's fine. Who cares? Funny though. Someday I come to Australia, just cuddle Lola. Dude, we were talking about that the other day. We were like, man, I love how much Annie loves Lola. If we could like send her over for like a day, we would. So you go taste some German stuff. She come back and she'd be like, yeah, that was really fun hanging out with Annie Andy. That was really cool. Thank you. Auntie Annie is quite cute, isn't it? Oh my god, I can't stop kicking my toes. Put your shoes on. <laughs> Don't move the stuff. Just buddy, put your shoes on. Silly girl. It hurts a lot because I think I broke my toe a couple months ago. No, you didn't, did you? When? When are you talking about? Oh, fuck. I said I was going grey, didn't I? Dumb, 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 dumb. That's all right. We're here now. That's pretty cute though. Looks very mystical, brother. Very mystical and whimsical. Uh, I kind of want, want just some pink on top, eh? I think just a little bit. I never wear shoes. I mowed the lawn and stuff straight. Betsy, I've, I've totally hit my foot with a whippersnipper, man. It's deadly. It's so bad. snail booty hole okay we almost want like a bit of peach on the highlight i think so i'm just gonna see what it looks like and then maybe like a bit of bone white for a laugh Hey man, hey Lola, chill. You've been so good all school. Hey Lola, we got new neighbors today. She's been um, she's been at Adam all day. Yeah, buddy, you know. Don't actually, don't actually. <sighs> Wait, my head is so wrong in thongs. <laughs> Yeah, because we call them that in Australia. <laughs> Remember when I kicked it on a rock in a garden and it was swollen and purple? Thongs as in flip-flops in case there's any mistranslation. 
you know, mate. I'd just be out there mowing a little G string too, Emily. Hey, man, it's cool. Our, our lawn, our rules. Is it focus? Sorry. I might not have been focused this whole time. Could you imagine? <laughs> Terrible streamer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that. Little color combo. And then for the, the moment of truth, really. Who looks like together. And we'll fix up any little bits that we miss, but... <laughs> Looks quite good together. That's quite fun. And then we'll do we'll cover all these. Awesome. That's so fun. And we'll do a cute little eyes too. Mm. And like a nice highlight on the chest. Very cool. Oh my god. I didn't I didn't know Thong became flip flop too. <laughs> hey man, we just free in our yard, Danny. We just ate nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Jack and I live in Thongs. <laughs> I'm gonna pair a thong I'm gonna thongs right now. That's why I won't get out out of my chair on stream. Ozzy, we like to confuse people with our lingo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not if you have neighbors who would see you, it's just mowing a thong. <laughs> but yeah, if I'm just watching that I'm in, oh my god. <laughs> you tell them, well, how dare they be there? Yeah, she's been like really at him. Like, and like, not in like a completely. Uh, like it's a tight eye shirt, eh? Um, they just kept moving shit on the road, and she's like, oh, doing like a real guttural one. Germans are not but, uh, much better. Um, um, Farren used to bypass someone, and um, um, Farren used to drive over someone like the bad thing. <laughs> um, Farren and Farren. That's just one space between. That's pretty funny, actually. One is the bad thing. One's all right. One's you, you can pass them. I sent you a photo to jog your memory. What of your toe? Oh, the sink gonna love the string gonna love this. Let me take a look. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, it definitely kind of looked like you broke your toe, huh? Because the, the toe kind of looked like a little sausage. A little cutie sausage, huh? Mm, look at that little chorizo. That's why you don't wear G-strings while mowing the lawn, guys. Look at that. God, it's crazy, huh? Reminds me when, when Daryl sent us that picture of him getting stung by a bee. <laughs> it's just funny. Just not safe for life stuff in the chat. In a widget, married and poisoned is spelled and pronounced the same. Uh, gift, soft G, more like gift. <laughs> That's confusing. It's fabulous. Oh my god. Soft G, more like gift. Gift. Married and poisoned. That's too close. Too close to home. 
Execute was poison in German too. <laughs> Not a present. <laughs> big Jacko, big thong. <laughs> uh, it's because it's the same thing, Rarity. It was poison. Deep. Deep. I was going to make that joke. It's like the word dick. Um, it's like to be fat in German, not what you think. Oh. Dick Jacko Lil Minis. Okay, we're just freehanding some of this turquoise, and I hope that it's close enough. Bit too much blue, bit too much blue. Hold up, hold up. Or not enough. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> Is the airbrushing obvious? Nah, I don't think it's that bad. I'm over overthinking it. I can word this nicely. Poseidon spreads through you. Oh, poison spreads through you and infects and changes you. Marriage is the same. Someone enters your life and slowly they become part of you, changing you. Like as if you were poisoned. <laughs> Deep. Scary. Yeah, true. I love being bloody poisoned by you, Emily. My little cupcake hoe. But I love you. God, that was so funny. I want to go back and clip when I read that. But yeah, please, we're going to be streaming again tomorrow, um, Arathu, so I'd love, like, an update, if you get around to it, I mean, from the sounds of your, uh, your sexual activity, I think, yeah, it's definitely, definitely bone zone tomorrow, so yeah, if you can give us an update on how that went, that'd be great. I really like that turquoise, huh? With the peach, I think we can make this a bit brighter and have it look really cool. And cute. That's philosophical. Yeah, it is, right? Kind of true. Kind of sad. Kind of wholesome. We're having a lot of those moments today, huh? Actually, that's another good question for the stream too. How do you guys feel about like traditional marriages and stuff? Like, cause Emily and I are going to get married and we're, we're trying to think about, you know, saving up money and, you know, my cousins are getting married too. And we're just trying to like wrap our heads around. Like, do you, do you spend money on a big ass wedding? Like, what is the, what is the dream wedding for you guys? You know? Do you just get a tattoo of each other's nickname, call it a day? What do you do? And like Annie's also planning a wedding, so she might get some joy out of this. <laughs> Any tips? <laughs> Besides spreading through your body. That's 
Ooh, let's try to change you. Arthur, a demon, bro. <laughs> Arthur just got permanent ribs. Always turned on, never off, no off switch. That's so funny. Okay, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna hit the back of these little neck bumps on the snail. It's like a fun kind of, I'm trying to think. We could really blow it out. Or I kind of want to do like, I want to do the same thing I did with this. Kind of blend them all together. So we can go turquoise plus off brown. Make another peach offshoot, or even like purple. Actually, that's not a bad idea. See what turquoise or purple make, and then we'll roll with that and see what we get. It's kind of like a mauvey bluey gray. Not quite different enough for me. What about something like this? Yeah, I think that's definitely interesting enough to like add a bit of variety. Huh? Yeah, we'll do that. Sorry. Oh, I love it. People have opinions. Yes, yes, yes. I don't mind you clipping it. Please don't spread it everywhere on the internet. No, no, no. True, true, true. If I'll do that, I'll blow everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'll talk to you about it first before I go and get a tattoo about, you know, our little nickname. No, just have the people there that make you happy. Not more, not less. Yeah, exactly. I feel the same way. Sick so, um... on. Yeah, it's weird. I think um, with some weddings, people just can buy as many as they can. And like, that's their... You know, that's their symbol for like, oh yes, people love me and I don't know. My thinking is like, if you've got to pay for people to be there, like I kind of want the ones that mean the most, right? I mean, you guys can all come too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, um, I don't know. Yeah, you kind of want to don't, you don't want to be like, oh, my coworker, um, you know, who I used to work with three years ago you want to come because i feel like that's like half of weddings you go to them and like oh how do you know them and they're like oh yeah we used to work together but uh huh so are you friends or like no no we just used to work together a couple years ago they bloody invited me and i come for the free piss so In before I hit up everyone I played um, Ultimate Frisbee with in, in university. <laughs> Invite them to our wedding, Emily. 
Uh, mine is none, but my partner disagrees strongly, so we'll be doing one. Yeah, yeah. I see both sides, but I I like the idea of having the the big day. We went to a really nice one. Mm. My mate lived in Adelaide, and he had this really chill, like he had um just had the ceremony in at a cafe that he would take his dog to, and him and his missus would like just chill out with the dog at the cafe because it was like one of the few that allowed dogs in. And, um, you know, they had the ceremony at the, the cafe and the dog was allowed to come to the cafe for the ceremony. It was quite cute. Um, and then they had the, is it the reception? I always forget. I think the reception back at home, you know, and I thought that was quite nice. And just like, I don't know, they had a bathtub full of beers, kind of bogan, kind of good. It's really nice. You know? So be very nice with the little speckles, huh? Quite cool. I don't know if I'll have an update already tomorrow, but I'll get you an update for sure. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Don't feel like you have to share it if you don't want to either. I know I put you on the spot. Um, family is not uh is who you want to have there, not because of blood. One hundred percent. That too, right? You don't want to invite people just to fill seats and you don't want to have family even though they're family, right? Like if you if you have a connection, sure, but you don't have to no one's telling you you have to invite them. And maybe tradition's telling you you have to invite them, but I'm telling you you don't have to, okay? Don't worry about it. Don't worry, pretty little head about it. Invite who you want. Good. I just want to do a couple of them speckles behind his neck. I mean, not that a snail has. Does a snail have a neck? Yeah, I call that a neck. That is bloody <laughs> lovely. That is bloody lovely. I spent 25k on my wedding. That feels okay. And can remember hardly any of it. Depends if you have a big close family. If I had my time again, I'd go on a sick holiday and get married overseas. So you have fonder memories. Oh, that's really accurate too, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's what Emily and I is kind of like, um, like our thinking is we'd love to like sort of travel and Emily hasn't been out of Australia, right? So it's like, be cool to just go see some stuff. And, and I say 25K doesn't sound too bad. That's And that's mainly because... I've heard of a, a lot of other people be like, oh no, like a, you know, people I've talked to are like, no, a wedding is like, should be 70k. Be like, what? I gotta take out a loan for this shit? Oh, damn, man. I know I wanna do that. I wanna see my wife in a beautiful dress and have everyone pull up and all my family crying. I'm crying. Lola crying. She's bawling her eyes out. She, <laughs> you know? I want that, but I don't want, I don't want to save up 70K or take out a loan for 70K. Ugh.
cool. All I know is everything is very expensive at the moment as well. Just want to save up and stuff. Let me just read chat for a bit. This is a cool kind of issue that people have different views on. Um, 25, oof, that's very much. See, is it? And that's my thinking. Like, I don't think I could afford 25K. Um, but I think when I've heard other people talk about weddings, like they're talking like 70, 60K, man. Serious. No joke. Like, it's nuts. Not a lot in Australia. It's expensive here. Well, that's how I feel, Josh, right? Like, I feel like I've heard so many people just do intense, like... I went on a yacht. Um, a yacht? No. A boat? <laughs> a big, big houseboat for a, a wedding ceremony. And they were saying that, that alone, that, wait for it, that alone, for everyone on that boat, was still like 40 grand, you know? So, uh, don't know. Whatever you reckon, <laughs> you know, like just crazy. Um, I just do a small ceremony in a park or out that in the country. Just close, <laughs> forty grand. That is bloody lovely. I just do a small ceremony in the park or just out in the country. Just close friends and family. Nothing fancy, just people who love uh, you to make it special. A hundred percent. Uh, my tip: just don't pay too much for a dress, just for one day. So many good dresses are cheap. That's true too. Everyone puts the price up on things when they find out you're organizing a wedding. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Like a little wedding tax. And that's 25k dollar it is, not US dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 15k US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm paying around 5k for my whole wedding and it's with everything like photos, cake, dress, a room in the hotel with food. Wow, wow, wow. That's cool. There are so many things I can share experience and advice about, but I don't think getting married is one of them. My little cupcake. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's down the pipeline, Narrative. You have fun, man. You have fun. This is like, it's like old people talking now. <laughs> you enjoy yourself, bro. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, that's not something you have to worry about just yet, right? Uh, I'm just going to blend some skin with some of this orange. Make like a cool peach color. Hey, so when we raise someone today, can we please ask them that predicament? Like we just ask them Arathu's question and just see what they say. Mmm, look at the belly on him. Bloody look at the belly on him. That's like uh, 5.5K in US dollar. Oh shit. That's not a lot. <laughs> That's so cool that it's that cheap. In Australia, it's crazy, man. Yeah, like Emily's saying, they just raise everything. If they find your, if they find out you're having a wedding, they're like, oh, well. I mean, now it's gonna cost you an extra five grand to rent out this venue, right?
Man, that looks so cool, man. You know? Sorry, just being real happy with it, huh? I love the little belly, man. With the little blue snail. So cute, man. <laughs> I would rather spend more money on those people. Imagine the price per head. You know, you start getting rid of people, but you start spending like 50 bucks on everyone. You know, maybe a hundred bucks per person. Pretty sick, huh? Look after them. I'll come to the wedding, I'll bring cupcakes. Oh my God. <laughs> uh. Would you do a themed wedding or cake? Uh, I don't know. Big Jacker, as I bet you can tell, I'm not a very shy person. I don't mind sharing as long as it doesn't spread too much and starts uh, reaching my in real life. <laughs> I could you imagine. <laughs> we make a TikTok that goes viral. So many weddings feel sterile and generic. I agree with that. I think people lose touch with sentimental things. I think so too. I think that's why our mate's wedding in Adelaide was so nice because it felt very sentimental and close and you were kind of pulling the curtain back to what they kind of talk about in their own personal life. I thought it was quite cool. It was a yacht. <laughs> yeah, it was too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long are you streaming? It was meant to be two hours today, but we've had a lot of fun today. So I might just finish this, uh, this snail, huh? No, I am really enjoying today. It was such a fun stream too. So I keep getting distracted by this big belly of his. Just really like the blend on it. There's actually, we're using like a pale flesh tone, but you wouldn't even know. Looks like cool little peachy color. Don't tell him it's me. I don't want an entire Twitch talking about it. If it reads my GF, she might get real awkward. True, true, true. So if 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 you come back with news and advice, then we'll then we'll talk about it, huh? Then we'll then we'll figure it out, Arathu. I won't I won't do anything without your say so. Hilarious though, and I appreciate it. Don't worry, we won't we won't clip it. I want to do it so bad though. We'll wait for all the uh updates. And then I'll do it completely anonymous, so. Hey? And I mean, I'll ask you before I do that too. man his little peach snail folds bro look at him i bet arathus old slug is thicker gotta hate that comment <laughs> true though she also watches art on twitch all right let's not talk about it now 
My friend's wedding was at a farm and they had glamping tents. That's quite cool. It was subtly nerdy, uh, subtly nerdy with dice on the cake, d20 and wedding gifts. Nerdy vows, but lots of greens and nature themes involved was lovely. Ah, see, that seems really cool though. I keep telling Emily we need a Shrek themed one, but she won't. She won't take the bait, I don't think. That's, that's me. No, I think I wouldn't do a, a, um, a themed one, but I think it's done well. I think it'd be really cool, right? It's looking so fun. A friend of mine is a bit short and massive foodie. His wife went down the aisle to concerning hobbits, the Shire theme music. <laughs> That's quite cool. All right, homies, have a good night. Thanks for the lols. Ah, uh, thank you, Josh. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the feedback. Thanks for helping us all, huh? When we have a, a little chat debate on what the right move is for a fellow chat. I think we all need hands on deck. Uh, sometimes I have a bad take, but I feel like we had the good take. We had good takes tonight. No, thank you, Josh. Sweet dream, brother. Have a good, uh, have a good Wednesday tomorrow if I don't see you. If not, I'll uh, I'll see you at six pm, huh? And then you can talk about your shit day if you have a shit day. I'm really liking that, huh? And then I gotta figure out what I'm doing with this purple. Do we do the reverse? Do we do like... I'm thinking... Maybe we do the reverse, huh? Clever. music kind of hurt my brain okay have your say bye uh okay to say bye okay i have to say bye hopefully you are still on in 20 minutes i'm leaving work to go home see you later <laughs> all right see you, annie hey at least she knocked off work can you believe she knocked off work during the stream <laughs> like she's in here the maybe not the whole shift but that's so funny. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, we'll wait for we'll wait for Annie to travel, and if she comes back, we'll go raid and we'll we'll ask Arthur's question to some some poor streamer.
Well, I like that. I got so many more stories to tell. I haven't done them quite this level. No, I love it, man. And bro, don't, yeah, I said, don't, as hilarious as they are, don't feel like you have to share. That's so funny and I love it, but yeah, only what you're comfortable with. I like that everyone bowed in to like help you come to a decision. I thought that was quite wholesome. Who the hell is ripping songs off feelthebeat.com and then putting it on Spotify? Bit rude. Feelthebeat.com. I think what we should totally do too tonight before we log off as well is do I'll show you the eyes I want to do. There's like these um I think it's a conch snail. They have these stupid little cute eyes that come out of their shell when they're on the beach. I kind of want to do the same things for this snail. That's really cool. When are you getting married or no date yet? No, we haven't quite got like a date yet. We've just been kind of, um, I don't know, trying to work out like where we want it. And, like, you know, same thing, like asking other people like how much money they save and you know what I mean? We're engaged. I call Emily my wife anyway, but um, no, nothing, nothing set in stone just yet. And plus, all my cousins are getting married, so I kind of want them to have it first and just suss it out. And then I'll, I don't know, I'll, we'll figure it out maybe, Emily. I don't know about you. I'm trying to speak on your behalf, but yeah, that's how I feel about it. Kind of like having kids too, right? Like, cause I've just recently gotten like a nephew, right? My sister had a, a child and you know, I'd love to see more of him. We're not on quite good terms, me and my sister, but I'd love to go see him more. And then that way you kind of get to test um, where the child is like right for you at this current moment, you know? I kind of feel the same way about like weddings.
cool. Kind of want to just dry brush a little bit. This tiny smidge amount of dry brush. What do we got? I think like this little guy should do. Sorry, just dry brushing. You can really just fuck a model when you dry brush wrong. So I just want to pay attention for a few seconds. I like it. We got a couple of like cool color gradients going on. Very cool. Uh, I got so many more sort of sell to it. Not quite this level. It's very wholesome. In a week, my GF is going to be gone for a month to take care of some sick family member of theirs too. So I kind of have a deadline to get my ducks in a row. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so too. Was just washing my hair. Welcome back. Too much going on in life. Yeah, exactly. I'd also like to go see your sister more. <laughs> Be my guest, bro. <laughs> Loki want to travel and, and become a healthier me before those things. Yeah, true. I feel like those big life changing things are like uh, saves in life. When there is no auto save, you can't go back after. Very true, man. Like, very true. I kind of feel the same way about it. Like, just seems huge, you know? I don't know, like Emily and I are finally like financially secure enjoying life, you know, good friends, good people, good vibes and I don't know, just seems crazy to like, just be like, yo, let's have a kid and then you change it all again. I know I sound like a nervous man, but. You know, it just seemed like a big deal, you know? Not sure if I'll ever get married. I don't see myself leaving my partner, but I don't need a piece of paper to say we are together. Not putting down the marriage in any way, but it's a nice thing, but I have no strong feelings either. Uh, wait for me personally. After seeing my parents struggle mentally and financially doing those things earlier in, uh, in life, makes me feel like I'm not in a rush until it's the right time. Yeah, well, and that's how I feel too, right? Like people, are, like people, I think, let me just shake up this paint. I think people are very like old people like you know particularly like boomers are very quick to tell you like kids just happen bro you know you'll never bloody be ready for kids and then but then i'm like but what if i am 
Like, what if I, what if I set up a time to have kids? Is that wrong? Is it bad to be prepared? It's like they act like, you know, you meant to just accidentally shag and have kids and that's how everyone else did it when they were alive. So that's how you got to do it. Like, what if I just want to be a bit more prepared than that? Is that so wrong? And they're like, well, I had you when I was 18, so uh, I bet you do the same. Like, what if I uh, don't want to do that? Yeah, but they act like it's such a bad thing that you want to be prepared, right? I just always thought that was so funny. Looking pretty kooky, looking pretty cool, huh? Life is great at the moment. I just want to ride the high, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, the entire point of marriage is to show that connection and relationship is a big uh, deal for you guys. And see, I think that's like very like old school because I think we, I don't know, Emily and I, I couldn't see myself with anybody else, right? My partner's brother got their marriage certificate at the council and has small dinner with family to celebrate. Might do that. That's quite nice, isn't it? Your life is good right now. Keep running the high. Don't, don't let boomers rush you. They just uh, want to go to the wedding <laughs> before they risk their hips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not having kids. I have two nephews and I'm happy to be fun. Uh, who takes some places? Oh, that's really nice. I haven't told my mother because um, not having grandkids is going to hit her hard. And yeah, I think that's the hard part too, right? I think a lot of them tell you to have kids because they want grandkids. And that's not fair either. That's you make me have a kid just so you have a grandkid, bro. Come on, man. I never asked for this. You made me, bro. What if I want to just sell my house and go live on a boat in the ocean? You know, there's no kids in that picture. The entire point of marriage is to hand over assets tax-free. <laughs> we find our child. Only thing I would say is don't wait too long as it becomes riskier for the mother. Yeah, that's true too. I think the funniest one they always tell us too is like, it's like, um, you just straight up won't be able to have kids soon. It's like, well, well that's not quite true. Like the amount of people freezing their eggs and shit, kind of nuts, right? Just laying down some black and I don't want to fuck it up.
Okay, that's pretty cool. Pretty scary. I'll just have my fur kids. No kids is a valid option. Yeah, no, I think that too. Like, you don't have to have kids. It's a risk after 35. I have another 10 years. See, that's kind of crazy to think about, right? There's always adoption as an option. Hard to uh, sport. Hard to sport. Hard to support? But possible. No, I think adoption's cool. I think I would totally do that too. We had ours when my partner was 31. We sort of felt like it was the that was the window. Ah yeah, I gotcha. I also have shit jeans, don't want to pass that along anymore. Oh really? I look I probably have a long list of issues that I haven't really thought about either. Ah well, shmee by your kids, huh? Well, my parents say they wouldn't give a fuck. They'd be like, "Ah oh, well, high blood pressure." Ah oh, well, cancer. Ah oh, well, just gotta have that boomer mentality, Evan. Ah oh, well, it's not me, is it? It's just me, child. <laughs> no, it's terrible. <laughs> Your jeans now, saga. <laughs> it's also a question of how old you want to be when you are dealing with kids, uh, teenage years. Yeah, I couldn't really give shit. I don't know. Oh, and he's back. And he... If I have kids, uh, there's a high chance they'll be autistic. Yeah, I understand that too. I think it's a it's a hard um it's a hard conversation too. Like I think. Because I've worked in disability field for, you know, six years, right? Like, I think it would be very hard to have a, a child with autism as well. Like, and I mean, I get paid to look after them. I'm not saying it's, you know, you shouldn't, but I, I acknowledge it would be very hard. So I totally understand that too. Yeah, I think a lot of people just, um, I think, how do I put this? Yeah, I might not on stream actually. Yeah. But yeah, no, I think it's a very difficult thing. Yeah, that's really good, guys. Real cool. And then let me show you these eyeballs I want to do. Dumb. My little brother is 10 years younger than me. And my mother was almost 40. And dad almost 50. Yeah. So when he was like 17 and partying hard, my father was 67. Shit. Yeah, wow. Generational trauma. Ah, oh, well. Ah, oh, well. Not my genes. Ah, well. <laughs> Oof, generational trauma. How do we get here? I know. I like this chat, though. I like, it's, I like how it's just honest. It's good. Let me show you your cease now eyes really quick. Are these not? Did you know that cease now had these? Oh, look at this fucking ridiculous shit. That's a cease now, bro. They'd be looking at their little shell like that. It's ridiculous. It looks fake. My brother is severely autistic and it almost destroyed my parents' relationship. Dude, it's hard, man. It's aut And looking after someone with autism isn't for everyone either. Like, I, I take my hats off to the families that I support. You know, it's, um, it can be very hard, for sure. It can be very rewarding, but it can be very hard, too. I think people, yeah. I was going to say it again, but I don't know. It might not be a good look if I support people with, yeah. I'll talk about it later. I have ASD, and in my own personal opinion, 
uh, I was and am a delight. <laughs> Wait, what's ASD? Is that autism something? Autism spectrum disorder? Surely. Australian Signalist Directorate? <laughs> no, autism spectrum disorder. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and in my own personal opinion, I am and was a delight. And that's the thing, I think autism, because it's on a spectrum, there's so many varying, you know, levels of autism. Oh, well, spectrums of autism, duh. Yeah, it is. I'm not, uh, I'm not severe though. I'm quite functional. I swear we said this last time that everyone's a little bit autistic. Or maybe that was a different stream. Yeah. No, I think everyone is on the spectrum somewhere, right? So how do I do these little sea snail eyes? My brother has no speech and is a three-year-old in a 30-year-old body. I love him, but it is, uh, he is challenging. 100%. Oh, I get that. And that sounds particularly intense, too. Okay, these eyes are going to either look insane or insanely cool. I'll give it a go. And does he still live with your folks too? Evan? Oh, kind of look cute just like that, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, man. That's so dumb looking and so cute. Gold. That's so funny. <clears throat> he does, but he's slowly being adjusted to going to full-time care in the next few years. Ah, oh, that'd be good for your parents too. My parents were older when they had me and can't keep up with his care now. Yeah, 100%. And thanks for sharing that too. I know it's a pretty big thing. Um, no, no, hats off to your family, man. It's definitely definitely a tough decision. But um, no, I work with plenty of customers who, who either are looking to transition to full-time care or are in full-time care. And it's, it's, it's good for everyone, you know? Like, good for him. He gets some independence. You know, he's not... I mean, and at the end of the day, I mean, you know, he doesn't, doesn't particularly probably doesn't want to live with his parents either, but it's just the, the circumstances, right? It's tricky. Thanks for sharing that, Evan.
Bro, it looks like he would definitely tell a funny joke. Or he'd be like a really polite butler snail. God, that looks so good. So cute, man. Tell me, isn't that this? Is that not real adorable already? It's not even quite finished, but God, that's so cute. God, look at these little goofy little eyeballs. God, I love that. I have Carlux too. It's good that there's those options out there too, 100%. Yeah, we are thankful that care facilities exist and that NDIS is there to financially support. 100%. And I think that, I think we talked about this too. I think then it's hard to see people on the NDIS who don't, um, sorry, I didn't mean to transition to funny snail picture while we're talking about something quite serious. Um, yeah, I think it's hard to watch people on the NDIS when there are clearly people who deserve it more or need it more. I shouldn't say deserve. I think need it more is the right, right word. Yeah, so I really, I know it's dumb. I really didn't want these eyeballs for him. Mm. So damn cute, man. Let's just see what little black dots look like with little white in them. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> He's like, he's seen some things a hundred percent. 100%. Did he look like the funnest NPC? Oh, that's so funny. Snail just out here living his life, boy. Yeah, it's queen. It's staring into my soul. Wait till we add the little, the little light, the little white. Look, should look really good. What a little cutie, bro. Come in, come have a look. Come out, bloody look at these bloody eyeballs. giving me uncanny valley <laughs> giving me scary it is looking at my soul too can i take a photo and i'll show you what it looks like bro that's so funny <laughs> bro it looks like how my dog looks at me Oh, that's so cool. 
He does look a bit dry for being a snail, though. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Um, I'm going to add, like, a clear coat on everything. Um, and I'm going to do... I want to do, like, resin slime down his chest. So, like, a layer of, like, UV resin on top. I think that'd look really cool. And maybe just some around his, like, little flanges and stuff. Yeah, so I think it'd be really cool. It's so big. I want one of these. Dindy check, see if your players are bloodthirsty or stop to get the unique quest from him. <laughs> Bro, how can you kill this man? As if you would murder this this quest giver. Hang on. Let me show need I show you the picture again? Why would why would you murder this guy? You wouldn't. You simply wouldn't. Okay? Dude, I love the the fucking direction of the stalks. Or fucking goofy. I mean, it's cool. I but I really I saw these the other day on a documentary. Sea snails? How they have just fucking dumb as shit eyes? Yeah, I still look really good. I use it as an NPC that always talks as if he's high and sells crush potions that provide unique abilities. No sales trail jokes intended. <laughs> I think it would be really funny, yeah. It's like it's like an NPC and He's just this giant snail who just gets slime all over the town like every fucking day. Oh, sorry, sorry, I slime everywhere. My apologies. He's probably really nice. He just looks terrifying. <laughs> and now make uh, one 50 times smaller that picks out uh, of the eye hole on the big one. God, that's such a good idea. Oh, could you imagine a little baby one? Oh, that's really good. Wouldn't it be cool to have slime drop out of the eyeball too? You know? Yeah. Something, something to think about, huh? God, I'm really happy with that. Okay, how do we feel about that? I think I've done everything I can on the stream today. Really put my whole pussy into it. I think I probably should have done more on the purple. But I might go back after stream and do that. And maybe do like a little purple wash in between these to like imply like patchy scales. But I really like the face. I really like the belly. I really like the skull. Um, I just, I'm not sold on these little dots. But no, I'll work on something with them. God, the fucking eyes are hilarious. God. God. So goofy. I love it. And I hope Carl likes it. I just wanted something really cool. Because he has this, like, knick-knack shelf in his tattoo studio. So I thought it'd be cool to just have this guy, like, poking his little head out. I hope so. I hope he likes it. I hope he doesn't have anything in his shop for, like, how long... Like what, a week? And he's like, this snail fucking staring at me, bro. This this snail will not let up. I swear I saw it blink the other day. Jackson, what's wrong with this snail? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's go raid someone. Uh, this is really cool. It's been such a fun stream, man. Thanks, guys. That's how I mentioned his accent too. Yeah, I just thought he'd be really foppish. So, sorry! Sorry about the slime everywhere! My apologies. I like the, the options in the quest to kill him or like relocate him. That's how I'd run it, you know? 
or both slime and a baby slime crawling out down the cheekbone of the big skull. Oh, that'd be really cool too. Yeah, okay, we'll make it a diorama. We might make it a diorama. Yeah. I think that's a cool idea. So have like a little base and have like a little rock that he's just slunk over. Or maybe skulls that he's just slipped over. And then you do a little slime, little tiny baby boy in the little eyeball as well, sliding down. Dude, that'd be so fun. Oh, and then I print a third one, cut the eyeballs out, and then have one of these skulls, have little eyeballs poking out. God, that'd be really cool. Ah, well, we'll do all the work and it take like lots of photos, and then we'll just give Carl, and it'd be like a nice little deed, huh? Give him some cool art. They'll have, they'll have no choice to put it on the, uh, the shelf <laughs> once we do all that shit to it. How oh, cool. God, I love it. Okay, let's get raid someone. This has been a really good stream, and it was meant to be a two-hour stream. It has been fucking... It has been four hours. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You've killed it, man. It's awesome. Thank you, guys. He creates difficult train everywhere. He slimes everyone making a deck save to avoid slipping. Yeah, see, that's good, too. And it's not even a combat quest. It's just awkwardly I'm trying to corral. Everyone making a deck save to Ooh, avoid slipping. Oh, that's yes. me. That's me. Um, it's just this awkward quest on trying to corral this snail. That'd be really good. Um, what should we raid? Any suggestions? I kind of like doing people with the miniatures tag, but I don't mind the art either. Let me have a look. Um, nothing super cool in Warhammer. Aim plus first stream. Be gentle. That might be nice, actually. First stream. English? Your night. Let me turn off my music. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Yeah, it was definitely one of the more fun and weird streams. Loved it. Yeah, me too, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> for making it fun and weird. <laughs> no, I really enjoyed it, man. And I've just, I've never had a question like that. So we're going to ask him really quickly. Hey, dude. Uh... Don't be racist. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, dude. Got a super strange question. You up for some advice? And I'm just going to start typing the question because he's going to say yes. Okay, so basically, I have and this thing that I... Exchange question for some advice. Sure. Oh, Playtime. We first stream, so <laughs> how about on the side. Give us your advice. He's basically Is it to get good? Because uh, getting a tattoo of my nickname I have that I call her Cupcake Slut. Okay, this is this isn't verbatim what you said, but is this weird, you think? Oh, okay. Okay, Aratu, I hope you're not insulted by that. I just think it's funny, and we're going to make a little talking point when we get in there. <laughs> and you can tell the actual story if you want. All right, let's go raid him. Let's go, let's go raid him, okay? We ready? <laughs> we all are, Hexy. We all are. All right. I love y'all. Been a lovely stream. God bless. Let me type in slash raid. Oh my god, he's reading it. Oh my god, he's reading it under his breath. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty weird. Uh, I'm going to go in here real quick. Yeah. I, th I think any, like, any tattoo where you're getting someone's name, regardless if it's a nickname or anything, <laughs> I love you, Arithic. I'm only I'm only being cheeky. I love you. Um alright. It's his first time streaming. Let's go say hey. Let's ask him a question. Love y'all. See you soon. See you tomorrow, 6 p.m. 6 p.m.